corner and inside, and that's one of the reasons they're playing such good defense. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Pacers. These long-range shots look like layups out there, guys. They've consistently drilled the mid-range jumper tonight as well, which has forced the D to come out on them. Second free throw, no good. Here's Stevenson. Banked in off the glass. Stevenson's got four points in the quarter. So they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. Well, and that's why they're on this run, guys. They're getting the ball inside and getting really high percentage looks. And there's Kendall Marshall on the assist by Parker. And their solid play in the paint continues, guys. Well, that's been the focus, Clark, as we've watched. I mean, they've created one chance after another inside. Millsap a screen on Knight. Passes it to George. He kicks to G. Six on the shot clock. Shoots from the high post. Rebounded by the Bucks. Sanders has got 11 rebounds in the game. Over to the wing. Nobody near Parker. Drops in the tray. Parker's got 13 points. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Hillsap in the corner. Stevenson outside. The pass to Hibbert. There's Avanti. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Milwaukee has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard. Here are the team leaders in steals. You need to play heads up against these squads. Number one, the Pacers. Well, they didn't get there by accident, guys. I mean, this is a team with great awareness, great hustle. They play so hard, and they play together at the defensive end. Aston Millsap. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Millsap's got 13. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. The defense has to make an adjustment. They've got to string together some stops, or at the very least, try to force this team into some bad shots. Sanders sets the screen for Knight, and it's Parker in the corner. Another miss by Parker. Indiana's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. That's good. 15 points for Millsap. For Milwaukee, they've gone somewhat so far, 4 of 10, on their shots in the second half so far. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Taking a look here at some numbers for Paul George. Since the All-Star break, he's been superb. He's getting around 28 points per game, four rebounds, and two assists. And it's the kind of run we've seen from him so many times in the past. But no matter how many times we do see him have a stretch like this, Steve, it still leaves us shaking our heads in amazement and admiration. Dishes it to Parker. That's blocked. And that'll be Milwaukee as it goes out of bounds. Bucks retain possession. And the Bucks making a change here. Bradley's checked in. Bucks substitution. Avery Bradley. It's Parker with the drive. And Henson kicks to Knight. Six to shoot. And he gets it to go. Knight. Knight's got 11 points. Got to love the finger roll up and over the defense. Nene dishes to G. Stevenson outside. Millsap passes to George. No good on the three. They've been able to get out to this lead 
without really getting a very reliable performance out of him from the field. Knight with it. 11 points in the game. Pass to Bradley. Left side, Bradley. Knight for three. And that one's good. Brandon Knight. 14 points for him. Well, I'm not necessarily a big fan of him shooting that shot, but they did give him the space. Here's G. He's got seven. Oh, get it! Oh, oh, oh. Watch out now. <laughs> wow, we're going to remember that one for a while. I know I will, Kevin. That was special. Oh, man, that was a circus dunk. Knight kicks to Bradley. Hansen sets a screen for Brent. Out left to the wing. Feeds to Knight. Bucks passing it around. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Good look. He'll make that one most of the time. Indiana leading by 22. G dishes to Stevenson. Kicks it to George. Here's G. He's guarded by Knight. G passes to George. Second chance shot. Indeed, Millsap drops it in. Millsap's got six points in the quarter. An eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. Parker's shot is off. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. And Stevenson kicks to Millsap. Here's G. He's guarded by Knight. Here's Avanti. And a missed late. So the Bucks, their last game, a win against the Magic. Knight dishes to Parker. Outside breath for the three. Here's Henson, and he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Henson's got his first bucket of the night. Pacers leading by 22. G kicks to Stevenson. Nene with the screen on Bradley. Stevenson, and Henson sends it back. There's a minute for... left to play in the third. Parker with it. Picked up by Nene. Here's the teardrop. Parker's shot is off. Well, he won't miss many of those. Especially with the defender not in the best of positions here. G passes to Nene. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Nene's got six. Great interplay there between those two teammates. Milwaukee's gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Now, here is Knight. He's guarded close. Bradley drives in. Back to Knight. Let's it go from deep. Here's Henson. Paul Millsap with the rebound. Millsap's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's G. He's guarded by Knight. Outside, George. Here's G. Nine points in the game so far. Clock at four. Off target from the baseline. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. For Milwaukee, they have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. And the first one drops. Some changes for Indiana. Mahaney's check in for Millsap. And George Hills subbed in for Lance Stevenson. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Douglas has checked in. Now that is a quick bucket. Pretty good in transition. That's right. That's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And his free throws are only going in at about a 72% rate this season. Not a terrible number, but something that could definitely improve. Both free throws good from Douglas. 
Here's G, averaging 29 points per contest. Left side, George. And that one's on target from the wing. George has got 16 points. Tune in Monday, March 13th. Raja. And it has not been on just one occasion tonight that we've seen some excellent court vision from this man. State Farm assisted the game replay, featuring one of 11 tremendous assists on the game from G. And you're right, Kevin, about this performance here tonight. We've seen play after play. And the Bucks with some changes. Sanders checked in for Vitor Favarani. Parker comes in, and Kendall Marshall subbed in for Jared Dudley. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. We've got Sanders. Parker out there with Kendall Marshall. And it's Jenkins in at the two guard. Robinson kicks to Hill. Let's the three fly. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Robinson's got three assists in the game. She's checked in for Indiana. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Fredette, he's checked in for Kendall Marshall. Now here's Jenkins. Out to the right wing. Takes the three. Fredette gets the bucket. Talk about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. Now the feed to Robinson. The dish to Emba Amute. G kicks to Robinson. Five to shoot. Baseline jumper. Shot is no good. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Up next for him, the Grizzlies at the FedEx Forum. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Now Jenkins. Right wing. Now here is Fredette. He's guarded by Hill. That one goes. Count. For three. Here's G. He's coming up on the double-double, just a couple points away. He's been making it happen all game long. Great effort. Outside, Robinson lets it go from deep. Kept alive, Mba Amute. Off target at the rim. Milwaukee's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Now here's Jenkins. Not a lot of room. And here's Douglas to the wing on the left. Parker with no one around. That's good with a Douglas assist. Douglas has got his third assist on the night. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Robinson kicks to G. They had a chance to end the run there. Bucks trail by 20. Jenkins with it. Robinson picks him up. Parker dishes to Sanders. It's rebounded by Indiana. G's got nine rebounds now tonight. He feeds it to Mahimi. Pass to Hill. Another shot. Rebound by Parker. Parker's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Fredette, the pass to Jenkins. He dishes it to Douglas, passes it to Parker. He kicks to Jenkins. To the wing on the left. Here's Fredette. And another basket for Milwaukee. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's keyed this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. Defense hasn't been able to set up. G kicks to Hill. It's stolen by Jenkins. Mbaamute against Parker. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Jenkins dishes the Fredette. Douglas for three. Rebound by Mahimi. Mahimi's got his fourth rebound in this one. G kicks to Mbaamute. And here's Hill for three. That's good. Now they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? Bucks trail by 21. 